Good morning, Weekly Davers. Today, I am at M City. We're d- discussing uh, the way how we're going to integrate innovation in the application. Blockchain is inherently immutable, so once you upload the code, you cannot change it. So there are a number of patterns for dealing with this, and one of those patterns which we're using is the proxy. Good morning, Weekly Davers. Today I am at M City uh, on a four day course to learn about this project, and I'm here with the director of M City, Hui Peng. Hui Peng. So we're just getting ready to start, and we just want to say hi. Good morning. We're d- discussing uh, the way how we're going to integrate innovation in the application because it's a web application. So, for example, with this small icon, um, it's, it's, it's just a sketch, but it will look very nice if it's, if it's going to open up and the arrow will come out so the user knows what's happening. First, it's going to be um, a static image, oh, and then when we yeah. finish the app, uh, we're going to have probably a GIF animation. But then at the end, I want to use Lottie. It's an animation framework by Airbnb, uh, and we can use Team React. Yeah, but it's good to think about how we implement it. So maybe this page need to uh, disappear first. Like you, you need mm-hmm. to this go up, and then like you switch to a, this page, which will look like that at mm-hmm. the beginning, and then and it then down. it will drop down. Yeah. So one of the things we've been dealing with this week is how we're approaching upgrading contracts and storing data. And that is one of the big issues with uh, smart contracts with blockchain because blockchain is inherently immutable. So once you upload the code, you cannot change it. So there are a number of patterns for dealing with this. And one of those patterns which we're using is the proxy. Namely, that is a contract that sits between uh, the user and between your code and between the latest version of the contract containing the logic. So you can switch out those contracts and still access it through one address all the time. So the system we've chosen to go with in the end was um, a proxy for the identity contract connected to the latest version of the identity contract. And no matter which version of those contracts, they're all connected to a single um, eternal storage uh, contract, which will always hold all of the data, even as we upgrade the system. And for the mission contracts themselves, we've built a sort of mission contract registry which you can call and will give you the latest version or the latest major version of each contract and each of those major versions are connected to its own structured storage contract so all of the version 1 version 1.1 version 1.2 are all connected to one storage so you can upgrade the logic without replacing the storage but only if you really want to change how you store the data then you can release the new major version Hey guys, so just a quick update from the Dub Video Force. This week I started working on a very exciting project. It's a fully animated video that shows a day in the life of an autonomous car that connected to the Dub protocol and to the wide variety of services it offers. We already started working on the first scene, which looks awesome. So this is it for this week. See you next time.